welcome you back again to another video lecture on python programming and in this video lecture we'll go ahead and uh, create a simple project that will help us to determine fibonacci sequence using functions so here we'll be creating this fibonacci sequence using functions but if you could remember we've done something about fibonacci and uh, we didn't do that using a function but light uh, right now let's go ahead and uh, use a function to do that so go ahead and create this function and say dave let's call that the Fibonacci so the Fibonacci and pass in the argument of uh, let's call that list underscore list underscore items all right so let's go ahead and uh, say that uh, f1 is equal to f2 is equal to 1 all right now let's go ahead and uh, say print f1 f2 go ahead and uh, end that now let's go ahead and uh, say why y list underscore item is greater than 2 then we go ahead and uh, say let's go ahead and say num is equal to f2 and uh, f2 is equal to f1 plus f2 now let's go ahead and say that f1 is equal to num and then we go ahead and uh, print f2 end and then we go ahead and uh, print list item plus equal to one then we go ahead and uh, print these items now let's go ahead and uh, say that uh, x is equal to int so you can be able to demand the user to insert go ahead and say insert maximum okay insert range of fibonacci sequence insert range of uh, fibonacci sequence okay so once that is inserted we go ahead and uh, say go ahead and say call fibonacci function and then pass in the value of x right in there and that will go ahead and print it out now let's go ahead and run this code and check it out run this code and drag this up a little bit and it says insert range of fibonacci sequence let's say nine and hit enter and that is printed out so let's say we want that to be 20 of them check it out insert 20 and you can see it gets up to this all right so let's go ahead and say maybe 115 of this sequence go ahead and start 15 and uh, it gets up to that can you see that all right so this is all about fibonacci sequence and i hope uh, the code is just available for you go ahead and put it down on your own system and play around with it and in case if you have any question please go ahead and use the question and answer section and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much and i'm going to see you in the next video lecture